Hello, my name is Pawan Sharma. I am from Avaya Global Support Services. This video is about how to convert Avaya product software's OVA files into Amazon machine images for Amazon Web Services installations. Question is why do we need the AMI format conversion? The reason is the Avaya product softwares are delivered in the form of OVA files. As you can see over here, the system manager Amazon Web Service OVA downloads are here listed and you can see the file over here which is in the form of OVA. Now this file needs to be converted to AMI format before that it can be used for the installation purpose on the Amazon Web Services. Please note I have used some commands in this video which can be obtained from the installation guide or I also created a KV article for the same from where you can copy paste the commands. Please note the KB ID and here you can see the screenshots as well as the commands that I've used during this video. You'll see the demo. I have logged into Amazon Web Services platform. First, we need to create a bucket to upload the OVA file. For that, we need to go to services, S3 and click on create bucket. Here we need to give the descriptive name for the bucket, which should be unique. Specify the reason and then click on create. Once the bucket is created, we need to go in inside the bucket and click on upload. Here we need to click on add file and browse the file that we have downloaded from the support site and click on upload. I have already uploaded the SMGR OVA file to save the time. We see the naming convention of this file. It specifies SMGR, the build version and hyphen AWS which specifies that this particular file should only be used for AWS platform installations. This OVA file we need to convert into the AMI format. The next step is to go to EC2 and create one instance. Click on launch instance and select the Linux AMI here we need to select the instance type that we will be using for the Linux machine if you see the instance type it specifies the number of vCPUs the memory in GB the internal storage and all we can select any instance type over here but while installing or launching the instance for system manager, we need to select only the instance type that is supported by system manager. I will click on next. Here we need to specify the network, virtual private cloud that is already created, the subnet and the auto assign public IP details. If that we need to enable or disable. I will click on next. This is already the default storage inside that particular instance we selected in the step 2. I will click on next to add tags which is an optional step to identify the instance. I will click on next. This step gives me to option to create a new security group or select the existing one. It also specifies the type SSH or I can add a new rule for HTTPS to access the instance. I will click on review and launch and then launch. These steps give me an option to create a new pair or choose the existing one. This would be the file downloaded to my PC and 
will be used to access the instance securely. If I choose an option create a new key pair, I will give the file name PAM file. Once it is done, I need to click on launch instances. Once the instance is created, we need to go to services, EC2, instances and here we can see the instance that we have created. The instance state is running and the status checks 2 out of 2 which is already passed. We can also find the instance ID over here and the instance type that we selected during the creation. Now I would click on connect to connect to this instance. This gives me a detail on how I could connect to this particular instance. For example, it gives me a public DNS and the example how I can SSH using the key pair file to this particular instance. These details can be noted, noted down to a notepad for the reference. I would close this. Now, I can connect to my instance but before that I need to convert the PEM file that I have downloaded as a key pair to .ppk format so that I can use the same while accessing the instance via the PuTTY. For that I need a PuTTY key generator. I will go to conversions and click on import key. I uploaded the .pem file and now I need to click on generate. And once this is generated, we need to click on save private key to save the .ppk file to our laptop. The next step is to open a party session and I need the DNS or the compute expedient to access this. I'll type the same in the host name or the IP address section. And then I would go to a search auth and here I need to browse the ppk file. Here I have browsed the ppk file and I will click on open. So this is now establishing the connection with my instance and this is already established. The next step is to configure the AWS. For that I need to execute the command AWS configure. I need to provide the access key ID. The secret access key ID. The default region which is US hyphen West hyphen 2 for me and the default output format which is out used JSON. I will show you from where we can find the access key ID or secret access key. For that we need to go to the AWS account, security credentials, And from here, access key and secret access key. From here, we need to copy paste the access key ID and secret access key ID. Now, this particular instance is configured with my AWS account, and I can see the content as well of my bucket. 
as I can see the bucket name and to see the content of the bucket I need to give the bucket name as well so I can see this OVA file is already uploaded to my bucket now I need to convert this OVA file into AMI format before starting the conversion I also created two different files the role file and trust file with the content as you can see over here is all content can also be obtained from the installation guide or from the KB article so these are the two files that I have created the important thing to note in the file is I uh, provided my bucket name over here the next step is to convert the OVA file into the AMI format I have tapped in the command please remember you can use these commands from the installation guide or the KB article that I already created so that these commands can be copy pasted from there now here I uh, provided the SMGR OVA file name that is already in my bucket via dev and I also described or give the description of the format or the file name as SMGR 7.1 OVA click on enter now you can see over here one important thing the import task ID this will be used in the next step I will show it how the status is active and the status message is pending with the progress already started now to check the status of the import image file I will use this particular command and here you can see I have used the import task ID as well that was important thing in the last step here we can see the progress is already 28 and the status message is converting with the same import task ID so now we need to check the status of the import image and as you can see over here now it is completed also please see the image ID that will be used to identify the AMI file to see the AMI images we need to go to Amazon web console EC2 dashboard AMI images and from here we can see the AMI image that was created by us with the help of AMI ID this completes the demonstration of this video thank you for watching this video for any questions or feedback please write to mentor at .com. Or you can follow us at Aviamenta on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.